What's up, guys? And surprise, surprise, surprise! I never thought I'd be making a surprise video regarding the Galaxy Note 20 family because most of the stuff is based on the Galaxy S20, but nonetheless, it is here. The first ever benchmark leak of the Galaxy Note 20 Plus 5G model. This is a Geekbench 5 results and looking at the scores, they're actually pretty impressive. 985 single core score and 3220 multi-core score. These numbers are actually much better than what I get on my Exynos 990 Galaxy S20 Ultra. However, I'm pretty sure that the S20 Ultra with Exynos 990 can score higher. There must be some kind of optimization regarding this application, but the scores are pretty good. At first, we just had the scores but developer Max Weinbach actually went inside and uh, he stumbled upon something absolutely surprising. So this code has revealed that the maximum clock speed for this chip is at 3.09 gigahertz, which is much higher than the 2.84 gigahertz frequency of the normal Snapdragon 865, which led us to believe that this is the Qualcomm 865 Plus. Now, as always, the model number for this device ended with a U, SM-N986U model, which means this is for the United States, Canada, and China, where we see the Snapdragon devices. Once again, it's gonna make other people disappointed, but wait. Since this is rocking Snapdragon 865 Plus, possibly, this could actually mean that we're gonna see the next version of the Exynos chip as well. In fact, Samsung is already working on the Exynos version of the Galaxy Note 20 Plus with a model number rocking SM-N986B. All these model numbers ending with the B means that these are the Exynos model as I've seen with my S20 Ultra. Its model number is also ending with the B. So from there, I can definitely say that it is the Exynos model. Now, because we have the Snapdragon 865 Plus for the U model, we can expect Exynos 995 CPU with a bit higher clock speed or some other improvements to come with the international version. This will bring us one step closer to the Exynos 1000 that we're gonna eventually see on the Galaxy S21, possibly with AMD GPU. That chip would most likely have five nanometer process in order to compete with Apple because Apple is already doing that with this year's iPhones with Apple A14. So Snapdragon 865 Plus is a great news. Even though Samsung is still using Exynos, there's a bright side to it, which means a better Exynos processor could be on its way. Now, judging from the model number SM-N986, it's definitely the Galaxy Note 20 Plus model. The Geekbench listing showed 8GB of RAM for this phone. This kind of follows the same thing that Samsung did with the Galaxy S20 Plus and the S20 in regions where there is no 5G. So these models are actually rocking 8GB RAM instead of 12. I'm pretty sure the 5G versions will have 12 gigs of RAM, but uh, yeah, here it shows 8GB of RAM. And since this is the Note 20 Plus model, there's definitely going to be a Note 20 Ultra. For that model, the model number could be SMN990, which is one digit above the SMN989 of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Again, very soon, the software will confirm whether we see two variants of the Galaxy Note 20 family or three versions of that. It's gonna be very exciting. Let me know your thoughts on the A65 Plus. Now, I have another theory for you guys. Qualcomm has showed off the prototype for that bigger in-display finger scanner that is also capable of registering two fingers at the same time. I would love to see that on the Note 20 family. Family. Honestly, the fingerprint scanner on the S20 Ultra is one of my least favorite things about it. I think it's gonna be a great addition if Samsung somehow brings that to the Note 20 model. Now, a good news for the Galaxy Fold users, uh, you are going to get the One UI 2.1 update pretty soon with all the features such as improved night mode, uh, the single take, pro video mode, and quick share among other stuff. It's all coming, so great news for you guys. The Galaxy Note 9 recently revealed the April software patch and uh, it still not have the One UI 2.1 update, which means Samsung could bring this later down the year or they might not bring it at all. We're not sure at the moment, but uh, yeah, that's all the latest news we have on the Galaxy Note 20. The development is happening. I'm very excited to see how much Samsung can push considering what they did with the S20 Ultra. And uh, yeah, just drop your comment, let me know your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on for future tech videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.